intent, uh, you're talking in inclusion. Now, you were also asked today about Donald Trump, some of the comments he's made, and, and, and the way he's entered the GOP race. One thing that is undeniable is that he's made an amazing splash. He is rocketing up in the polls, and he is certainly resonating with a lot of GOP voters. What is he doing wrong, in your opinion? Well, I don't think he's reflecting the, the Republican Party with his statements about Mexicans. Uh, I think that was a huge error on his part, and number one, it's wrong. When I think about the Hispanic in Texas, and I think about the individuals who have paid a great price, whether they were Tejanos at the Alamo in 1836, or whether it's been as late as the last wars that we've had, when you see Hispanics being killed for America. He didn't talk about legal people who are here legally, Mexican or otherwise. He was saying that Mexico itself... Oh, but I will suggest to you, he, he, he painted with a very broad brush, and I think that's the problem. Yes, do we have some challenges? Nobody knows that border better than I do. Nobody has stepped into the fray on that border the way that I so, have to defend and secure that border. are people over here? Uh, listen, I, I guess that's the point, because let's, let's face it, he's resonating. Now, I will give you this. Corporate America is dumping him like crazy. Macy's, NBC, uh, they're all lining up, even the city of New York. To a certain degree, that may reflect the, the greater electorate, but it also is just galvanizing and making Donald Trump sort of a, a legendary figure within your party because he's standing up, he's not a politician, and he's not afraid. What would a career politician like you say to that? Well, what I would say is that we want somebody that's actually dealt with this before, not somebody that's just going to shoot from the hip. And I will suggest to you, I know how to secure the border. And the border security is the real issue here. It's not painting with this broad brush that obviously I think uh, Donald Trump painted with where he tried to say, you know, Mexicans are bad people, they're rapists and murderers. Yes, they're bad people that cross that border, but how about let's get a commander-in-chief that knows how to secure the border, right. and at that particular time we can have a conversation about how to deal with this immigration the issue, but not meantime, still Governor that border Perry, is secure. In the meantime, were these companies right to dump Donald Trump? Listen, that's their call. My, my way to address this is to talk about the contributions uh, that the Mexican-American has made to this country, knowing that they are the number one trading partner for the state of Texas, knowing that Mexico is going to play an incredibly important role economically in the future of North America with the energy resources that they have. Canada, the United States, and Mexico. You put those energy resources together, you lower that corporate tax rate, you lower the electricity prices, bring back manufacturers in this country, and this region can explode economically, and that's what we ought to be focused on.